God dag, jeg heter Tutti og velkomna til Stockholm. Planes, trains, and automobiles going around the world like a spinning wheel. The road's my friend, the road's my home. All I have is the world to roam. My life is fast, my life is pretty. Living my life as pretty in the city. Hey, it's pretty in the city. Founded in 1252, Stockholm started her history as a trading port between Sweden and Germany. In modern times, it has grown to become the cultural and economic heart of Scandinavia, as well as a popular travel destination. Trenton and I pulled into the city one morning, eagerly awaiting our next adventure. We started things off in Gamlestad, Stockholm's old city. Here we came across the Royal Armory, a treasure trove containing 500 years of priceless artifacts. Inside, we found the place armed to the teeth with swords, guns, cannons, and ferocious stuffed animals. The most interesting pieces were the suits of armor, though, some of which were even made for children. Others were made out of gold, and some were there to try on yourself. Once we were done playing around at the armory, we made our way over to the nearby medieval museum. The best part about the medieval museum, it's free. At the center of the museum are the ruins of old buildings from medieval Stockholm. Next to this display is a life-size recreation of what the city once looked like. As we walked around the town, Trenton and I thought it would be polite to meet the neighbors. The locals included authentic medieval knights, authentic medieval peasants, and authentic medieval plague victims. All in all, I'd say that we had the best time at the baker's house. You can pick your friends, and you can pick your nose, and I'm going to pick my friend's nose. Medieval health conditions weren't the best, everyone. Now that our appetites had been thoroughly whetted, we decided to sit down at one of Stockholm's Viking-themed restaurants. Just had a wonderful meal, now we're off to the ice bar, get some drinks. There's no better place to chill in Stockholm than at the ice bar by the Ice Hotel. I wasn't sure how long the ice would last, considering how hot I looked in my thermal parka. As soon as we walked inside, our frozen breaths were taken away. As we spent more time at the bar, we couldn't help but mingle and make a few friends. Alright, Trudy here in the ice bar in Stockholm, Sweden. These are my friends Tom and Antonio from Austria. Say hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. <laughs> Hello. Hello to the USA. <laughs> With things getting late, we decided to turn in for the night. Besides, tomorrow was our last day in Stockholm, and we still had one place left to see. Right outside the ABBA Museum? No. It's a very little known fact, but I'm the world's biggest ABBA fan. Ever since my obsession with ABBA began many years ago, I was determined to become an international disco sensation. I wish I could be up there. Little did I know, I was about to get my chance. Hello Sweden, it's Trudy from America, ready to rock the dancing queen. You can dance, 
Jordy, I'm coming in too. Where are we gonna go? The next stop, America. I've been cheated by you since I don't know when. So I made up my mind, it must come to an end. How they got the words for Look at me now. <laughs> That's a horror. <laughs> That's a horror noise. Stop that. Lose <laughs> control. There's a fire with this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting off this ride. That's the worst noise I've ever heard. Thank you. Thankfully, we ended the day on a high note because it was time to get moving again. We were sailing on to our next adventure. Stockholm had been a truly special place and gave us something new around every corner, no matter which time period we were in. Hello Sweden, it's Trudy from America. But most importantly, Stockholm had given us the time of our life. Trudy, what are we going to find in these caves? Fortune and glory, kid. Fortune and glory.